accept the award on behalf of Mark Scorsese is a director, host of the PBS Half Hour series that is playing across the country, the hit show The Artist Toolbox. I've spent many hours with this man, and it's really it's the closest I've ever come to hanging out with one of the Kennedys. Please welcome John Jacobson, everyone. <laughs> He said, no, there's no room. I said, well, uh, can I leave my name? And he said, fine, what is it? And I'd say, Kennedy. <laughs> and always it'd be, <laughs> 10 minutes later, we'd get a table. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. And so I just, that seemed to work pretty well. And so I did that embarrassingly until I was about 25. <laughs> and I was in New York by now, and uh, I did the same thing. We got seated by the waiter, and about five minutes later, the Major D came in and he said, Oh, I'm so glad you're here, your mother Ethel, she's in the next room. <laughs> Years of therapy. Years. <laughs> but actually, I went up to her and I said, Hi, Mom, how are you? And she didn't know the difference. So it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to the, the, to the point at hand. So uh, a lot of people don't know this, but they're turning Goodfellas into a Broadway musical based on that last scene. So that, I'll raise my hand when I make jokes and that'll be a lot easier for you. <laughs> Like I said, I uh, lived in New York for many years, and, and actually I was a PA on uh, one of Scorsese's films, and he was very, very, very nice to me. And um, when I found out, uh, and Chris called me about the 2020 awards, I, I called Marty, and uh, I told him about the awards and the ceremony, and of course he uh, hadn't heard a thing about them. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, told them about uh, you know that what the premise of the awards were and, and how the night was going to go, and I talked quite a bit about it. And uh, then there was a pause, and he asked who this was again. <laughs> and when I told him, he hung up. I think it was a bad connection, uh, an eighteen T thing. But okay, so. <laughs> And there was a time I dressed like a Kennedy, and no. Okay, so the holy grail of Oscar flubs was this decision, with Kevin Costner's preachy, self-righteous, overwritten, long crap fest, Dances with the Wolves. <laughs> Just what was the Academy thinking when they chose Costner as best director over Marty Scorsese? Really. I mean, since winning, Costner has failed to act in or direct in one single watchable movie. Waterworld? The Postman? Hmm? What's going on? So, I, I, I liked uh, uh, the earlier explanations. I mean, clearly it's a good fella uh, fest tonight in a lot of uh, insensitive males in the audience, I guess, voting on this film. But I think it's a little different. I think it's a West Coast versus East Coast kind of thing. Scorsese is an East Coast director. He went to NYU. He grew up in New York. Costner's a Californian boy. He has lots of California connections. And that West Coast Academy Selection Committee and voters can be pretty nancy-pansy and didn't have the guts to vote for that insensitive male film that was pointed out earlier, Goodfellas. 1990 saw the release of Goodfellas, as you know, a semi-autobiographical film about Scorsese's life or with Scorbino crime family, which begins with the famous quote, as far back as the womb, I always wanted to be a gangster. Besides being praised enthusiastically by everyone who's ever seen it, Goodfellas is also notable for the innovative methods used to lower production costs. This is true. For instance, most of the violence seen on the screen is real. <laughs> Because of this, many of the extras didn't have to be paid. <laughs> and the need for special effects was drastically reduced. 
And as a result of the low cost and the breakneck pace at which filming and extras were, they were going through, Scorsese was able to make two films with the same cast and budget, Goodfellas and Goodfellas 2 Casino, <laughs> which are both regarded by scholars as the most realistic mafia movies ever made, and even John Gotti proclaimed them as his favorite films. And I know that because I called him too. <laughs> the two movies were combined and re-released in 92 as the Goodfellow Saga, which incorporates previously unreleased footage and runs a total of 16 and a half hours. <laughs> Each version of the film won numerous Academy Awards, none of which went to Scorsese. In addition, actor Joe Pesci won the Nobel Peace Prize for his tender portrayal of the tragic Tommy Nicky DeVito Center. <laughs> The Goodfellas saga was also to be the last time Scorsese would work with longtime collaborator, collaborator Robert De Niro. Neither of them have spoken publicly about the reason for the split, but there is speculation that it had something to do with parole violations. <laughs> Scorsese's next film would be Age of Innocence, about the brutal murder of New York socialite and, uh, and six people trapped in a mansion who must discover the killer's identity. <laughs> It was based on a Parker Brothers board game, actually. <laughs> and surprisingly, despite Martin Mull, Tim Curry, and Barbara Hersey as the Virgin Mary, <laughs> it was met with a lukewarm reception and was never released to video. Another injustice. <laughs> Thank you.